Hi all. Good morning. Welcome to the Trend Micro Trending Tuesday Season 3. I am Nikhil Khandagle, SC from Trend Micro India, and today we are going to discuss about the XDR Threat Investigation and Response app from the Trend Micro Journal platform. In today's fast-paced cyber security world, time is key. The Trend Micro Journal platform plays a crucial role in helping the SOC team to identify the attackers and adversaries. Firstly, the Trend Micro Region 1 platform provides a comprehensive visibility of the entire network to the SOC team. It collects the data from various sources such as endpoints, networks, email, workloads and other third-party platforms. On the top of that, it applies AI and ML so it can benefit the SOC team to investigate further and deep down. But that's not at all. Response management is one of the key aspects of the Trend Micro Region 1 platform and it helps SOC team to take various response actions such as isolating the endpoint, taking remote access of the endpoint, quarantining the email, blocking the sender and sharing the threat intel with other third-party security platforms. Let's look at it in action now. In Trend Micro Region 1 platform, XTI Threat Investigation app plays a crucial role in SOC life on day-to-day basis. On the left hand side you can see that various options are available in the XTR Threat Investigation app. One such option is a Workbench app. Workbench app gives you the high fidelity alert so it provides a critical visibility into an attack or an alert so that SOC team can easily act upon it. So one such Workbench alert you can see on the screen is that adversary is trying to do the public facing application exploit by using various tactics and techniques and these are the few alerts associated with that attack. So we are going to discuss about one such alert that is suspicious web access after suspicious email. So if I click on that workbench alert, I get a graphical representation of that alert like this. This makes SOC team life more easier so they can easily deep dive into it see the alert in detail and take various response actions so if i talk particularly about this alert it gives us the highlights of this alert what are the incidents associated with this alert so if you see on the left hand side it explains us that there was an possible spear phishing email and in that spear phishing email there was a spear phishing link and that link has been clicked by the end user when they have received that email. So if you see on the left hand side, it gives us the impact scope, how many endpoints or servers, how many user identities or users or how many email boxes are associated with this alert. So in this attack, one endpoint, two users and three email boxes has been associated and the score for this alert is 47. So this score has been derived on the basis of this impact score. So if I talk about this alert, it gives me the visibility that first the spear phishing mail has came to the user and that mail starts with the subject line emergency important information. Sam at Mones is the recipient who has received that email. So you can see all these details on the left hand side and all these alerts are associated with the MITRE tactics and techniques. So it again becomes very easy for the SOC team to deep dive in the further. Now once that user has received that email and he has clicked on that link, he has accessed the sub-suspicious domain which goes on the winshipway.com. So if I click on this winshipway.com and I see the check execution profile, it takes me to the next page and gives me the insight of that url how it got access so you can see that this url got accessed via internet explorer and if i right click on it it gives me the details about that url when this url was first seen when it was last seen on which port it got access and what is the domain associated with that url now since soft team has all the insights about the alert they can take the various response actions so if i go back to the alert you can see that this attack has started with the email. So there are high chances that this email must be lying in the other user email boxes as well. So simply SOC team can right click on this email and they can take a response action like quarantine or deleting the email. In this email, they received a possible spear phishing link. There are high chances this URL 
can also come via other channels like proxy or other third party platforms so they can simply right click on this url and put it to the block list so this threat intel can be shared across all the trend micro platforms and also our third party platforms as well now because of this email and link the SOC team has understood that one of the endpoint got compromised and there are again high chances this endpoint can move laterally and expand the attack surface. To reduce the attack surface, SOC team can simply right click on this endpoint and they can take a response action like isolate the endpoint, they can start the remote shell and they can conduct the various forensics on the endpoint. So this is all about the trend micro threat investigation and response. In case if you want to understand more, kindly comment and stay tuned for the further episodes. Thank you.